Married at First Sight UK 2022 participant Kwame Badu has opened up on the real reason he decided to meet his wife Kasha London on a park bench rather than bringing her to his home. As part of the process, the couple spend time at each other's actual homes, after getting married, going on a honeymoon and moving in together. When it came to Kwame's homestay, viewers were shown that Kwame decided to show his partner Kasha around his local area instead of taking her back to his. The Channel 4 star had since been branded secretive amid telling Kasha that he's a private person. Read more. Married at first sight UK fans in tears as Thomas and Adrian choose to end marriage and leave show. During his time at her home, he was grilled by Kasha's three sisters as they all sat round a table for dinner. He was asked about his true feelings for Kasha and probed as to why he didn't let her into his home for his homestay. At the end of the dinner, Kasha confided in her sisters and asked them whether they think Kwame is right for her, to which they all replied no. Many fans watching the E4 matchmaking show turned to social media to speculate as to why Kwame didn't invite Kasha to his home, with some wondering if he had a secret wife staying at his. But Kwame has since spoken out to set the record straight, uploading a clip from an interview he did with Jordan on Represent Radio on Instagram, as reported by Manchester Evening News. Kwame laughed and explained, No, for me the privacy and secrecy wasn't to Kosh, it was to the general public. Kwame explained that he just wasn't prepared to go back to his house while the cameras were rolling because he has two daughters and he didn't want to reveal where he lived. He said, the whole context weren't shown in the episode. What was highlighted to her is look I am more than happy to, to take you to my property. We can go now, let's jump in an Uber go to my crib right now and it'll show you once the cameras are gone. I have two children, two girls, we live in congested London, I don't want people to know, I wanted to keep that back. When I explained privacy and secrecy what I was explaining is for against the general public. He continued, there's no way I am going to go and marry you, you're my wife and I am not going to show you my place. If it's something which is really a determining factor for you let's get in an Uber and go, I am 5 minutes down the road. On Monday night, October 10th, Kaisa took to Instagram to post a batch of their wedding photos but chose to erase Kwame out of the pictures by scribbling over him in red. The beauty salon owner wrote in the caption that Kwame was never going to be for me and jotted down a list of what shed like on her actual wedding day. More importantly, I get to choose everything to its finest detail when the ultimate real big day happens. She then went on to detail, 5 things I think ill need on my actual wedding day. Everything all white and gold. My husband will have good taste in clothes and will not turn up at the end of the aisle in an old man's red suit. A man who is true to himself, hustles just like me, if not even harder and likes to live a too blessed to be stressed kinda lifestyle. All of my loved ones and attendants which is very few. I keep my circle very small.